So good morning. Uh, my name is Jonas Geda. I am uh, a neuropsychiatrist uh, at uh, Mayo Clinic in Scottsdale, Arizona. This morning I would like to talk to you about uh, our research work that will be published uh, by uh, Mayo Clinic Proceedings in May of 2012. Uh, in our research, we examined the interaction between computer use and moderate physical exercise. We wanted to see the impact of using the two on the outcome of cognitive function or mild cognitive impairment. Uh, the reason why we picked this is that we all know that computer use is very common. Everybody uses computer and the US Census puts it very high usage. We also observed in previous studies that uh, computer use is associated with a decreased odds of having mild cognitive impairment. In another separate study, we have also observed that physical exercise, particularly moderate physical exercise, is also associated with decreased odds of having mild cognitive impairment. Uh, therefore, we said, how about a combo? One of my research students, uh, Taryn Silber, she said, how about the combo, the combination of computer use and physical exercise? And that's what we did. We looked interaction, Indeed, we observed that engaging in computer use and also engaging in moderate physical exercise at the same time is associated with decreased odds of uh, having mild cognitive impairment. Uh, we have control for age, education, caloric intake. Therefore, this finding cannot be explained by calorie, caloric intake, age, sex, and education. The key is perhaps a person will be using computer, you know, in the morning and then might be exercising in the afternoon. So it's really, uh, but we have, I want to remind you that uh, one of the major research works that came from uh, Mayo Clinic, it happened to be in, from Mayo Clinic, Dr. Jim Levin has shown uh, there is what he calls NEAT non-exercise activity thermogenesis. In that study, uh, from his conclusion is that, you know, if a person can do, can use a little bit of a treadmill, you know, maybe it could be at one mile per hour or at the same time use computer, perhaps it might even be beneficial, but we haven't looked at that. Well, the next step, of course, is uh, this is uh, case control study, we need to confirm that in a future cohort study. So until then we consider this as a preliminary and uh, hopefully at some point in the future people will be able to use interventional research to see such an outcome. So this is a, the first step is really to confirm findings before we, you know, we get too excited about this. Based on our study, engaging in moderate physical exercise and using and engaging in mentally stimulating activities at the same time seems to be beneficial to our brain particularly to our cognitive function it seems to be associated with a decreased odds of having mild cognitive impairment MCI MCI is the intermediate stage between normal aging and dementia. Therefore, really, the combo seems to be beneficial, and that's uh, the take-home message. 